moments with God. Severed from earthly things. Ephesians 5.11 says, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Many professed Christians are well represented by the vine that is trailing upon the ground and entwining its tendrils about the roots and rubbish that lie in its path. To all such the message comes, Come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. There are conditions to meet if we would be blessed and honored by God. We are to separate from the world and refuse to touch those things that will separate our affections from God. God has the first and highest claims upon his people. Set your affections upon him and upon heavenly things. Your tendrils must be severed from earthly things. You are exhorted to touch not the unclean thing, for in touching this, you will yourself become unclean. It is impossible for you to unite with those who are corrupt and still remain pure. What fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? God and Christ and the heavenly host would have man know that if he unites with the corrupt, he will become corrupt. All our affections are affected by our religious experience. If our experience is founded in God, if we are daily tasting the power of the world to come and have the fellowship of the Spirit, if each day we hold with a firmer grasp the higher life, principles that are holy and elevating will inrot in us, and it will be natural for us to seek purity and holiness and separation from the world as it is for angels of glory to execute the mission of love assigned to them. Our consecration to God must be a living principle interwoven with life and leading to self-denial and sacrifice. It must underlie all our thoughts and be the spring of every action. Thus, this will elevate us above the world and separate us from its polluting influence. This reading was taken from the book in Heavenly Places, severed from earthly things. The Word of God tells us in Ephesians, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. There is a very interesting illustration here. A vine, which has fruits touching the ground, and is in contact with this earth's contamination. Each one of us is a part of this vine, but none of us should get in contact with the moral and spiritual contaminations of this earth. Be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing. To follow God, we must accomplish certain conditions, conditions that help us stay in the love of Christ. We don't have anything to unite us with. There isn't a possible way for us to unite ourselves with the world. We live here in this world, but we are not of the world. We must not place ourselves and our affections on earthly things, not in things that can be seen, because that which is seen has no end, but that which is not seen is eternal. Look on the things from above, because there is no communion between light and darkness. Every action and everything we do affects our spiritual life. We must ground our experiences on God, take His power daily, and unite ourselves in communion with His Holy Spirit. We need to firmly hold on to the superior life, and God will help us to have holy and elevating principles. That way, we will be able to search for pureness and holiness. Let us ask God for help, so that we can separate ourselves from earthly things, and live this life on earth as if we were already in heavenly places. Visit www.biblewell.com